It's Josh from Digger Man again. We've got Max today taking you through our five star operator levels. Today he's doing a 2.1 bench and batter. Okay, so today we're going to be uh, digging a trench and we're going to be digging a batter on the a bench on the left hand side and a batter on the right. So when we dig, we're reaching out far in front of ourselves and we're digging it down in layers. This way that we can come across services a lot easier. Still picking up a full bucket every time. And we just continue that on, digging down that trench until we get down to our depth. us come across things like warning tape or screenings or sand for other services that we're trying to avoid damaging. bench and batter is for trench support, making sure that that's a safe excavation for, for people to get inside and uh, work safely without the sides of the walls of the trench collapsing and hurting them. Trying to bring every stroke as close to the blade as we can. And that's the fastest way they'll be able to dig the trench in a safe, clean manner. Alrighty, so that's deep enough for what we're digging. I'm not going to let anyone get into that trench until it's nice and safe, so we're going to do a bench first. a good two bucket widths wide and as I'm pulling it in towards myself I'm also slewing to the left to keep that same width. Going about half the depth of the trench. up a full bucket, just pull it in towards yourself. There's no point wasting your time only pulling out half buckets out of the truck, uh, out of the trench thing. Cleaning up that bench. Clean out your trench again. started on the batter and make sure this trench is all done complete and safe. The bench also acts as a safe access and exit out for the for the for the batter. We're getting it on that angle. When we're doing it, when we're pulling back that bucket we're crawling out away from ourselves and that's going to keep that bucket on the same angle the whole way through.
almost acting like a retainer wall that's able to withhold its own weight, limiting the likelihood of the walls caving in and hurting the person that that's working inside of the trench. Keeping it nice and neat. And any decent sized rocks that are sitting on the side of the trench are always getting them away as well. Last things last, cleaning up that trench. Trying to make a nice flat bottom. excavation for someone to get into and do their job. Changing over my bucket. over a bucket we're always doing our drop and drag test make sure that it's locked in there nice and tight coming back just a fraction putting that bucket back down we can drag that material in towards us fitted with a blade you can use it like a dozer and push that excess in. Then you can pick up.